Marcus, get up. You gotta do your project. No, I'm not today. Well, hello there. I'm Mark Gillespie. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you a little bit about the Lawrence Attractor, commonly known as the Butterfly Effect. Did you know back in 1963, Edward Lawrence developed a simplified mathematical system for modeling atmosphere convection? Well, he did. Let me tell you more about it. But don't take my word for it. Let Dr. Ian Malcolm explain it to you. Mm. Yeah, I think the Tyrannosaur uh, uh, doesn't have any set patterns or, or, or park schedules. It's the essence. Uh, of chaos. Um, I'm still not clear on chaos. Oh, oh, it, 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 it uh, simply uh, deals with uh, predictability in complex systems. The shorthand is the, the butterfly effect. A butterfly can flap its wings in Peking, and in Central Park you get rain instead of sunshine. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Did I go too fast? This system was composed of three ordinary differential equations. Let me show them to you. For these equations, there's a number of chaotic solutions. The most popular being the Lorentz attractor, where p equals 28, sigma equals 10, beta equals 8 thirds. These parameter values give a solution that resembles a butterfly, hence the butterfly effect. A great example of this phenomenon can be seen in the double pendulum experiment. Watch closely to this following clip. However, if I start them out up here, again, I'm starting them from basically the same place, but when I let go, you can see that very quickly, they're now doing completely different things. So if I wanted to try and predict what one of these pendulums, pendula, would do based on where I started it, it would be very difficult because even if you start identical pendula from very similar starting points, Within just a few seconds, they're doing radically different things. So the butterfly represents the slight difference in where they started, and the hurricane represents the fact that they're doing very different things later on. So it's not that the butterfly causes the hurricane, it's that the butterfly and the hurricane represent small differences at the beginning and big differences at the end. One of the most interesting aspects to this chaotic solution the extreme sensitivity on initial conditions. Different initial values for x, y, and z lead to very different paths on the distance over time effect, as you can see here.
Just changing one value by a seemingly infinitesimal amount can lead to a graph of chaotic behavior, given enough time. Thank you. That accurate weather forecasting is so difficult to predict. After about five to seven days, accurate weather prediction becomes nearly impossible. Alright, so what you're saying is weathermen aren't really just terrible at their jobs. Mark? Mark? Oh, no, weathermen aren't actually terrible at their jobs. It's just that based on our current weather modeling system, the act of weather forecasting can be thought of nothing more than an educated guess. Well, thanks for checking out my crib. I hope you learned a lot about chaos theory today. Um, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. All right, so you're going to have to get out, all right? Just go ahead and get out. All right, bye. Did you just video all that? It's just a... But don't take my word. Wait, I'm going to say hello. Huh? Right here. An example of this phenomenon can be seen in the double pendulum experiment. Watch closely. For these equations, there's a number of... Oh, hello. I can't say hello again. No, hold on. Have me... No. 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 Different starting values. No, it's not No. Why didn't you go? No. They're not terrible at their jobs. Based on our current weather modeling systems. Is that my phone? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, weathermen aren't terrible at their jobs. It's just based on our current weather modeling system. Um, we really can't predict the weather accurately within about a week's time. With these parameter values, you end up getting the butterfly effect, which was 